looking for the bulls to dip back into the L1 for a continuation pop back to the upside. Nice continuation back up. I couldn't get a fill on the final objective. Fantastic. Uh, well, we got the majority of them off. I've still got the one holding off of the L1. If it wants to validate itself, that's fine. But if it starts breaking down too much, that was a big old wick. Remember, we're dealing with the open. The volatility is likely going to be pretty aggressive. Hanging on to this trade is already aggressive. I like that little dip fill on the L2 for a pullback continuation phase back to the upside. Absolutely horrendous fill on that, uh, on that attempt of uh, bid there. Got a bit more pullback down into the L2 area. All right, I'm going to jump ship on that last portion there. I mean, Man, hitting the bid, hitting the ask, no fill, no fill, no fill, no fill. Uh, gee. I'm going to give this a second to kind of work its wiggles out here. And I mean, it ended up in the, in the positive. It ended up being worthwhile, but ugh, man, what a train wreck inside there. It is a deeper pullback, which again is going to dissatisfy a lot of traders. They were anticipating an L3 to reconfirm with an L1. It did not. So the fact that it didn't, is a, is a relatively big clue. They might be looking for a deeper dip. What better spot than the previous POC that got left behind? Uh, as far as the current developing off of the top, we've got a bottom-weighted POC hanging out at the lows with bulls attempting to reconfirm more movement to the upside. Oh, man, these candles are still just showing up out of nowhere. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> the, the rest of that bull bar and that bear bar just kind of appeared like, oh, hi, how you doing? Welcome to the party. Nice bear bar back to the downside, possibly a washout, but eh. okay, there we go. A little bit more proof of that washout. Buyers use that bull. Jeez, they use that candle. Holy crap. Now bulls will be trying to buy immediately above that candle, but don't lose sight of where we're at, right? We've got this huge bear trend to the downside, buying above candles way up here. Not my shtick. That's not what I'm looking for. I wanted to buy the dip down here and I just didn't get it. Uh, when I tried buying into it earlier, it kind of jiggled me out. So buying up here might work, but understand you got to be a scalper uh, with higher risk versus your reward. That's just the way that it works. Got the first five minute bar in POC at 892. on the NASDAQ. And as far as the S&P goes, we do demonstrate support off of that, uh, off of that zone with the POC landing at 43.87. Okay, and this time it didn't change. Hey, I can trust it again, yay. <laughs> so at the moment, bulls are making their attempt pretty obvious, pretty strong.
more bullish continuation. Likely not going to get a pullback at this point. It's just going to finish the move off. Did, uh, did I make a new high? No, it didn't. <laughs> okay. Quick little snap back to retest this 908 area. Could be a final reach for a lot of traders to re-up into a move higher. Much more aggressive this far up, but at least it's in a zone that makes sense. Again, you have to understand what type of trader you are if that's going to be the case. As a scalper, I know that I'm going to have to do some work on my average. Oh, okay, well, there you go. See, <laughs> uh, you, but you, again, I'm taking profit very quickly. I know that I'm a scalper. I can't expect this to go two to one with that big of a risk. I mean, it might, <laughs> you know, but am I going to sit through that much? I don't want to. I could, but I don't want to. You know, I don't think anybody wants to. So you just have to be realistic with what you are in the situation. That's why it's reversing so aggressively off of here. Everyone who bought way up there wasn't looking for a massive two to one. If it goes, cool, <laughs> you know, but everybody took profit on the jump. 